vlog number two, measuring stuff. Okay, as you can see for this vlog, I've used one of these little wooden mannequins. Now these are perfect because usually in the same proportion as a real human body would be. Uh, they're available for just a couple of pounds each. You can pick them up in most art shops um, or sometimes even on the high street. Now, onto the blog. Um, so, what we want to do when we want to measure something, okay, firstly we need to choose our standpoint and we want to stay in one place. So, in this instance, I've got my easel here, so I'm going to be staying here. What I want you to do first is to really lock the arm out, okay? Just practice just holding the arm out really straight and you don't want that to change otherwise the whole picture is going to be incorrect. Okay, then we want to look at our mannequin. Right, and then part two, the squint. I want you to really squint that eye, okay? So I'm still squinting and I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven point five. Now that is actually correct because the average human is seven and a half heads tall. So what we can actually do is do seven lines plus one and a half um, in the middle of our page just to help guide us. It'll help us see where everything is in relation to everything else. Um, but the main thing is the arm locked out and the squint and that should give you a really good idea and a good amount of clarity on the exact proportions of our model. We can also use it to do things like measure angles. So we would turn the so we want it to, I don't know, let's get our mannequin and we wanted to measure that, okay? Same rule applies. So we come back here, okay? Oops. Right, we're gonna squint, okay? And I just want you to get the angle, and then we could pretty much, with a, a really good degree of accuracy, transfer that straight onto our page. Um, so that was blog number two. That was on measuring stuff, short and sweet today. I uh, hope you liked it. This is elliotoneal.com. Um, artist and and blogger uh, and yeah there'll be more to follow so thank you for following me